And across the street is Square Boy. Just to the east of Greektown, a local institution and an excellent spot to grab a burger. It's also one of the few very affordable places you can eat out at these days. And that is Dewhurst Boulevard. And hello, it is Sunday, May 14th. The time is 12.22 p.m. and the temperature is about 14 degrees Celsius. And I am currently walking west on Danforth Avenue. And this here is the northern end of Jones Avenue. And that marks the beginning of Greektown. There's a welcome to Greektown sign. And it looks south down Jones, which does have bike lanes. So it's well connected to Danforth here. And it feels like it's been a while since I've been through this neighborhood. I was actually planning on making my way down to the beaches. But I think I'll wait for a day on the weekend where it's a bit warmer. I think there'll be a bit more going on down there. So for this one, we'll be walking through Greektown. And then when I get to Broadview, I'll go south and we'll pass by Riverdale Park, one of my favorite spots in the city. It's been a while since we've taken in that skyline view. And then I'll head south down to Dundas, passing through East Chinatown. And I'll see if I can board a westbound 501 Queen Streetcar. Hold your... Made in France. Made in France? Yes, made in sure. France. What is this? It's a uh, Madeleine. Madeleine? Yes. Oh, it's good. Oh, thank, thank you. you. That was quite excellent. I said I'm going to try to board a Queen Street car in Dundas because the Queen Street cars have been rerouted to go along Dundas, along the east side of downtown and half of the west side of downtown. And I'm just going to take a little detour here. This is Woody Crest Avenue, and we're heading north. And I just want to show where line two of the subway is rooted. So it opened up back in 1966 and all the stations are on the north, north side of Danforth and Bloor Street. I feel like I should have had some water <laughs> with that bread. So at some point, the city, it looks like maybe three or four lots had to be expropriated and they used the cut and cover method to route the subway north of Danforth and this is where it aligns with. So if you look at like Google satellite images, you'll see a long stretch of little parks like this and parking lots. So I'm walking over where the subway tracks are now And just up ahead is Pape Station. I've heard that some homes in the area have been taken over as well. Or at least recently as they'll be expanding Pape Station to accommodate the Ontario line soon. And a lot of the homes in this area do not have 
driveways, they have laneway parking like this. And even a few laneway homes have popped up in recent years. And that's something we might see more of. So that's Pape Station right there. And I have heard there's been a few assaults at night in these parking lots around this area. I wonder if those flowers are for Mother's Day. Although it won't be Mother's Day by the time you see this, but happy belated Mother's Day to everyone out there. All right, let's get back to Danforth. And another welcome to Greek Town sign. I wonder why there's two. And this here might be because of the Ontario line construction. The building with this home hardware in it on the right will be making way for the new subway stop. I gotta say, I really like how they do things in Korea a little better. They block everything off with much taller fences and they seem to use a lot less space to cram everything in. It's just visually a lot more appealing. The way we do things here just kind of makes everything feel like a big open construction site. over to the south side. But this is Pape Avenue. There's a very Hi. tall tower proposed just north of here that a lot of residents have been opposed to. As if density along a subway corridor surrounded by low density homes is a bad thing. All right, full disclosure <laughs> one of the reasons why I wanted to cross to the south side was I heard this guy's jacket whooshing. I have a little OCD with that sort of thing. But he followed me <laughs> to the south side, now we're still walking in the same direction. It's good to see the bike lanes are being well utilized. 
Oh, he popped into the Pape Market Foodland. There's the Holy Name Roman Catholic Church. I'll spare you guys the half-assed history lesson of Greek Town on this one. peek inside a mushroom dispensary, a medical <laughs> mushroom dispensary. Operating in a legal gray area, if not outright illegally. It'll be interesting to see if the tides turn on that, like they did with the cannabis stores. There's taps. And the BIA, which stands for Business Improvement Association or Area. I'm having a brain fart on that one. Oh, while we're here, this place has some of the best ramen in town. Ryu's Noodle Bar. Although last time I went there, they didn't have their liquor license yet. And here's where I spent New Year's Eve up until I went out and started recording. It was actually pretty fun in there. As I was saying, the BIA canceled the big Taste of the Danforth Festival last year. They blamed the bike, bike lanes and all the sidewalk patios. So even though no other neighborhoods had any problem with those, they let their inner NIMBY show and they canceled the event. But it's been announced that it'll be back on this year, of course. They had a location on the other side of the street. And it is called Greek Town, but like many neighborhoods, there's a Rather terrific variety of different food here. And we're at Logan Avenue. And in yesterday's video, I walked by Alexandros, a popular Greek takeout down on the waterfront, and that's their other location up there. Komi Bonmi Bar. I'll have to try that place out. Let's 
excited to see Messini jack up the price of their famous Pork Euros Pita. I guess it was necessary. I think it used to be like $6.95. I think now it's $10. That's a hell of a deal. Try our Cinnabon pancakes. I've never been to Stacked, but I have been to Louis Cipher a number of times. And they've got an excellent, what they call a Thai pie. This is Chester Avenue, and we'll find Chester Station just to the north of here. There's a thank you for visiting sign as we are leaving Greektown and entering an area known as the Plater Estates. Although I think a lot of people just kind of consider between here and Broadview to still be Greek town. I've definitely chosen to walk on the shaded side of the street. $25 for a 30 minute interview to talk about Tinder. Artscollective.com. That looks like the bike lane is getting resurfaced here.
I've been there a number of times. There is Z80. All games are on free play. Monday close, Tuesday five bucks, Wednesday five, Thursday five, Friday five before eight, ten after. Same with Saturday and Sunday five all day. I think they're still trying to get their other location over on Dundas West up and running. That one suffered a lot of fire damage. That was after they had an ordeal with a shady landlord at their previous location. Here's the Danforth Music Hall. I don't think I've heard of any of those acts. Broadview Avenue. Broadview Station just north of here. And Danforth Avenue ends. A block to the west in that direction. Whoop. And off in that direction, you'd be crossing the Blue Viaduct. Is that right? Yeah, a lot of men. And heading over the Don Valley into downtown. Cafe is now the Broadview oh. Diner. So this is south yeah, on the east side of Broadview. Pretty much directly into the sun. And there's a big show or event at the Danforth Music Hall. Sometimes it lines up all the way down here. a big condo development plan for that lot with the Loblaws. I think there's plans to put in a Loblaws at the base of that condo. That's really the only major supermarket in this area, so that'll be kind of missed for the several years that it's no longer operating.
right, let's cross the street here. <laughs> Great driving. where William Payton Hubbard, Hubbard once lived. I think the first black elected official in the city of Toronto. He also served as mayor. Doesn't look like they're running streetcars. Uh, Broadview at the moment. I think actually the streetcar loop at Broadview Station is under repair. We've got these 504, 505 replacement buses running. The 504 being King Street and the 505 being Dundas, but once they get to Broadview, they both go north up to the station and turn around. Riverdale Park East. This broader neighborhood is called Riverdale. It looks like there's some ball hockey going on down on the outdoor ice rink. Tennis courts are in use. I think the last time I recorded along here was about three months ago. And the park was covered in snow and there was a lot of kids out tobogganing.
and once upon a time this area was used as a landfill. These bright green poles here are ventian gases. That's the north end of downtown. A lot of the skyscrapers are in Yorkville, straight ahead. And of course, the financial district. But you can see why this makes such an excellent place to go sledding in the winter. And on Riverdale Park West, just over on the other side of the Don Valley, there's also a big hill that's pretty good for sledding, although it's not quite as good as this one. And during the first year of the pandemic, I came to this park several times with some friends and some blankets, and a lot of takeout food and adult beverages. And the word on the street is that they may be legalizing alcohol consumption in some of our public parks. Something I think is long overdue. And basically just... It feels like I always walk along the park side. Let's cross here. Feels like this neighborhood loses some of its character. I don't know if the streetcar is rolling by. And there is an excellent cafe coming up here on the left. So now we're about to pass through the Broadview section of East Chinatown. That goes almost all the way down to Dundas. That's where I'm going to try to hitch a ride west and take that over to line one. That's the Bridgepoint Healthcare Center across the street, formerly the home of Riverdale Hospital. There is 
an electric bus. You know, it sounded loud, but it's still remarkably quiet for a bus of that size. There's the old Don Jail, now an administrative building for the hospital, and a public library, I think the only one in Toronto that will serve you in Chinese. And this is Gerard Street. And there's a streetcar. A Gerard Streetcar. So that will continue through East Chinatown heading east. Six Carlton Street car that runs on Gerard Street. And it is short turning. That might explain why the 506 buses were coming from the east. Imagine the day when all the streetcars are actually running their assigned routes in the city. I don't think we'll ever get to see it. But just to the east here on Drive will take you through the heart of East Chinatown. Broadview Place, an old church. And 
Faith Temple, actually, as per the sign. And you can rent it out. Dundas Street coming up. about twice as many streetcars as normal on it. There's usually a lineup at that Lady Marmalade spot. It's never been. Oh, here comes a streetcar. It'll definitely be turning west on Dundas. It's a 501 Queen Street car, it looks like I might miss it. Oh, well, there's the stop I would need to get on it. That one's going all the way to Rossesville's. I could run across the street and jump in it maybe, but... I have missed it. Oh well, I'll walk west here to the next stop and I'll catch the next one. It won't take very long. So this is west on Dundas Street West. If I move my legs, it looks like I easily could have caught it. There's some people running for it. Oh well. <laughs> I can still catch it. So I hope you enjoyed this one through Greek Town and then down Broadview. Yeah. I'll be hopping off at Dundas and getting on a subway train. Just let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, <laughs> thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one.